Investing money for beginners. Is it the right move? Investing isn't just a game for the Wall Street wolves and the fedora-tipping day traders on the internet. It's a foundational skill for building wealth, and it's never too early to start, or too late. First off, let's crunch on some simple truths. 1. Saving is good. It's your financial safety net. Everyone needs one. 2. Investing is like planting seeds for a future money tree, but not any seed will do. Here's a play-by-play -play guide for exploring the investment jungle. Understanding Risk Tolerance Before you even think of stepping into the investment boxing ring, you need to know how hard you can get hit. Different investments come with different levels of risk. As a beginner or a teenager, you have time on your side. That's your main weapon. You can absorb market ups and downs because you've got decades ahead of you. That being said, don't throw caution to the wind. Dollar Cost Averaging It's fancy talk for investing a fixed amount of money at regular intervals regardless of the market's roller coaster ride. Let's say you take $1.50 each month and buy some stocks. Sometimes that gets you lots of shares when prices are down, other times fewer when prices are up. Over time, it all averages out. Types of investments. Stocks and ETFs. Companies like Tesla become household names, but there's more to the market than hot tip stocks. Index funds and ETFs are like a basket of stocks, giving you a piece of the whole market rather than putting all your apples into one tech giant basket. Retirement accounts. If you're working and get a paycheck, look into a Roth IRA. Unfamiliar with it? It's a retirement account where you pay taxes on money going into your account, and then all future withdrawals are tax-free. Plus, investing in a Roth IRA at a young age means you're setting yourself up for tax-free gains. Huge. High-yield savings accounts. Okay, so not quite investing. But if you're not ready to jump into the market, these savings accounts offer higher interest rates than your traditional bank savings account. It's like dipping your toes in the water. Education. While Google can be your financial Yoda, sometimes you need to go to Dagobah for the real training. In other words, read books, take online courses, follow reputable financial blogs, or even consider a mentor. Remember, keep an emergency savings. Never invest money you can't afford to lose. Fees are like termites. They can eat into your investment. Watch out for them. And when I say watch out for fees, I mean it. Some services and platforms sneak in fees that can gnaw at your hard-earned cash over time. So keep your eyes peeled for low-cost index funds, reputable robo-advisors, or commission-free platforms. Ultimately, investing should be exciting, almost like a rite of passage as you're entering adulthood. It's a piece of what sets you up for security and, dare I say, a shot at financial freedom down the road. Straight from Portland, Oregon, where the greenery isn't just in our parks but can be in our portfolios, too. Step forward with confidence, start saving, but also explore investing. Get your financial foundation rock solid, then build it sky high. Remember, skiing down Mount Hood might be exhilarating, but the real thrill is watching your investments grow over time. Just dive in with the knowledge, caution, and a sprinkle of adventurous spirit.